The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source, and you always control your own keys. All right. All righty. Today we've got Andreas and Alessandro. A lot of my friends. We are, we're wearing matching shirts. Alessandro, Alessandro, you got the shirt on? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, guys? How are you? Good, man. Good, man. Thanks thanks for doing this. Thanks for jumping on. No problem. Um, I just watched the, the documentary, by the way. Oh, what'd you think? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Very well, nice. Uh, it was edited by Alessandro. What's the gentleman's name that did the editing for the video? I don't know. I, don't, I, don't I forget. Uh, it. But okay. we, we paid it paid him in Monero. And I believe he's from Formosa. If you want to ask him, I think I think the guy who edited it is from Formosa. But, and we worked with him for a couple of months on it. He sí. did a great job. Alejandro, el, el, ¿me escuchas? Sí, 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 te escucha, te ah, escucha. No, te pregunta, el, el tipo que, que editó el video, que es de Formosa, ¿y cómo se llama? El joven que editó tiene 19, 20, 20 años, tiene, se llama Fabricio. Eh, es un joven de aquí, un joven de aquí de Barreta. Eh, fue el editor. Y es también, eh, fue un servicio más que Dux, pagó el Monero, no sé si te lo contó. Porque... No, 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 no. Pero ahora le digo. And the guy, the guy that did the video is a 20 year old um, man from Formosa. And okay. His, his name is um, ¿cómo se Fabricio. Fabricio. Fabricio Montiel. Ah. Fabricio Montiel. Tell, and tell you, it. you paid in Monero for for the video as well. Yes, yes. Tell him to tell Fra Fabricio to make an XMR Bazaar account and to list his um, video skills. ¿Entendiste? No. No, que le, diga, que le digas a Fabricio que se arme una cuenta en, en, en XMR Bazar. Ok, perfecto. Para los servicios, okay. Por los servicios de video, así alguien lo puede contratar y pagarle monero. Fue una gran ayuda, sí le diré. Yeah. Fue una gran ayuda para él porque... El chico quería comprarse una, pla una placa de video y con el trabajo que le ofreció Dux, él pudo comprarse una buena placa de video para mejorar su, sus producciones. Because he wanted to buy a graphic cards to improve their his productions. And uh, so your your work was a great help for him because with that he could uh, oh, he wow. to afford the, the graphic cards. Yeah. Fantastic. Y, yeah, y if, if he Oh, ahead, va a ser el joven que va a estar encargado de los resúmenes de todas las fechas de Copa Monero. And he's he's the one that's going to be in charge of all the um, uh, highlights. Yes, the highlights ah. of, of every every date in Copa Monero of every match. Oh my God! So yeah, so let's mm -hmm. so let's let's uh, officially announce it. So we're announcing Copa Monero. We've been talking around this show for quite some time i don't know if everybody really understands what we're what we're what we're doing here <laughs> it's kind of like a a crazy fucking thing but it's it's really coming together um oh wait let me bring up copa monero here ah y otra cosa para agregarle ya que a Dux también uh, le puede uh, interesar uh, ese chico que habló con dux y con sunita es un, un chico libertario oh. y referente y, y le encanta a Dux y, y todo el, el congreso que fue, el congreso libertario y demás. Me estuvo comentando eso. ¿Pero en qué, con, en qué congreso? El, el, la convención. Ah, el chico, estuvo viendo, el chico estuvo viendo los videos de Dag en la convención libertaria. Claro, y él es un oh. libertario aquí. He says that you, you, you're gonna, you're gonna love this. But the the guy that that made the video that edited the video is also a, a very big libertarian and it's also a reference uh, a referent there in Ibarreta and uh, he loved your participation on the libertarian he he was watching all the all your videos from the libertarian conference no oh, wow awesome. week. fantastic fantastic 
So yeah, let me uh so here here here's the website Copa Monero, copamonero.com. You guys can see it. Yep, okay. Football Libertad y un Premio en Monero. Football Liberty and a prize in Monero. So the winner of there's going to be 12 teams that are going to compete, 12 local teams. Uh, local to the Iberete area, aka Monero Town in Formosa. Alessandro put this all together. He runs his local soccer league. He worked with other soccer leagues. Uh, this was a big undertaking. It's not like it's like, hey, let's just all meet up and play soccer. These these teams take themselves very seriously. They all have their own like associations and each community. This is like the kind of like the the major. The major aspect of every community is their soccer club, uh, and Alessandro is is politically highly ranked in in the world of soccer where he lives, and he's able to work with everybody to get them to come together to do Copa Monero, which is amazing. So we're gonna have twelve, essentially twelve local teams that are competing. I don't know how far they all are from each other, but they're all in the same region of uh, Iberete and Formosa, and they're going to play essentially uh, twelve games against each other. And then the two best teams from those games are going to play in a finals. And then the best teams from those will play in the finals. So there's going to be 15 games overall. The first game is going to debut live at MoneroCon on Saturday night on, on the main stage. And then the final game will happen at Monerotopia. The winning team will win a prize of 10 Monero currently. That's what we're currently seeding it at. Uh, but what we want to announce today is we're running a Kuno where people can donate to help increase the Monero prize. We'd love to get it up to like 40, 40 XMR. I mean, that would be, that would be amazing. Uh, and that's a big part of what this is about, right? So these teams, they're, they're excited about this. They're learning about Monero as they, you know, they're hearing rumors of the Monero prize. This is a lot of money for them. Uh, if you get 40 XMR, that's a significant prize that's going to go directly to the team, to the play, to the players on the team. All the players will be splitting this prize, taking home Monero from playing soccer. So it's exciting. They'll be learning about it. All the attendees will be learning about Monero. Um, I'm sure all essentially all the towns where the teams are coming from are going to be learning about Monero by way of this. When they have these events, they're big events. It's not just, uh, you know, kids getting together to play soccer and and you know the, their their parents show up with the, the the entire town comes to watch the soccer game uh hundreds of people and they have a beautiful and we have a beautiful monero stadium that all the games are going to be played at in monero town so anybody who's been watching the show saw that uh, i guess it's been it's been well over a year ago now alessandro raised money from the Monero community to fix up the local stadium in his town and turned it into a beautiful Monero stadium. Um, the donations also, so out of this, out of this um, event, we're trying to achieve a couple of things, right? So we're trying to grow Monero adoption using soccer to do so. And then and bringing Monero into those local towns by way of the tournament with the Monero prize. And then additionally, we want to leave the, the stadium and the place where we play local Monero better off than where, what, what it was when we started there. So putting funds towards that. So that's another piece of this whole thing as well. Uh, but the first version of this is going to happen in Iberete, a.k.a. Monero Town. Alessandro, uh, Andres, if you want to let Alessandro now just say whatever thoughts he has, whatever things he wants to say to introduce Copa Monero, you let him go and interpret it. If you want to go, vale. go about that way. Vale, te dice si ahora vos aproveches y digas, yo te voy interrumpiendo y, con, y traduciendo, pero que aproveches para hablar todo lo que vos quieras decir sobre Copa Monero y presentarla. Bueno, ok. Copa Monero, como saben, eh, es un evento único eh, que se hace por primera vez en el ambiente criptográfico un evento realizado en su totalidad en Monero, donde es el primer evento deportivo en Argentina, en Sudamérica, donde el premio se, se da en criptografía. Eh, this is the first time lo, that this is the first time that, that uh, an event like this is even organized in not only in, um, in Argentina, but also in Latin America. 
where it's a sport event and it's not only organized uh, but also organized with the cryptocurrencies in this case Monero but it's also the prices in Monero. El, la primera la primera transferencia de un pase de un jugador eh, a, o de un club hacia otro pagado en en este caso en UCDC en, se le cedió en Argentina también y el primer premio en, en criptografía de un torneo de fútbol también se va a hacer en Argentina así que somos somos pioneros en eso respecto para, para, a el pase el pase el pase de, es uno de, de un jugador de Romanero, o en dónde fue no de equipo oficial de primera división ah en qué fue de Banfield a São pa Sao Paulo ah okay we have the first sí. we have the first um, pass like a change between two two teams uh, when they sold a, a, a player in USDC in Argentina because they from two big teams in in the first league and the major league is from Banfield to a Brazilian team and that was paid in USDC and now we have the first like uh, tournament which price is in Moneros yeah Quiero comentar a la gente qué es lo que se va a encontrar eh, con Copa Monero, tanto en la transmisión como el día, el post, transmisión, el post partido. Qué es lo que se va a encontrar y qué es lo que van, van a apreciar de este evento en su organización y qué es lo que se quiere mostrar a la comunidad para que puedan replicarlo y mostrárselo a las demás comunidades criptográficas. Bueno, quiero decirle a la gente uh today is what they are going to find on every transmission of the matches and also on the highlights after the matches so they know what what, what uh, we are going to produce for them in Copa Monero. Se van a encontrar con una con una competencia deportiva, obviamente, fútbol en un nivel eh, razonable, semi profesional, semi profesional. Pero más que nada vamos a apuntar a mostrar el por qué estos jugadores ante, ante cada partido se ven motivados, no solo por el premio Monero, sino por la adopción que, no solamente por el Club Libertad, sino que en cada equipo hay uno o dos jugadores que, que tienen un, una billetera de cake abierta y, y están emocionados por eso. Van a ver en la, en, en la pasión de los jugadores peleando por un, por un premio y y por ser parte por ser parte de esto de, de lo que es Copa Monero hay mucho entusiasmo van a haber mucho entusiasmo en los jugadores eh, y se van a encontrar también con declaraciones eh, no sé qué más decirle va a haber no, premios para. de parte de parte de los de los comercios para el mejor jugador de cada partido que, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. para para para, para. Um... What they want to show, what hopefully you be able to show with the with the with the transmissions is not only that the the football is 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 great, is football at a semi-professional level, uh, but also the motivations, especially after the matches with all the media that they 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 produce, um, of the motivations of the players, uh, which are not only to actually win the prize, <laughs> which is nice. But also, also because they actually use Monero um, in their in their current lives, so and they use Cake and they are very happy. Um, so they are very excited for the whole thing because it's something that they already know. And um, ¿qué fue lo último que dijiste? Eh, que los jugadores están muy motivados, muy entusiasmados. Que eso la gente. Vamos ah, no, para, ya sé, los precios de los premios de los and and also some of the some of the local shops have um, have like little prices for for the players after each match, for example, the, the best player of the match gets a prize from a local. Un ejemplo. Shop. Really? Un ejemplo. Este you know what we need, you know what we need to do? I'm just sitting here thinking um I, I, we could put that into the budget. We need to give away Monero to during the games. En el partido de Libertad Huracán, el mejor jugador se va a llevar una cena eh, gratis de Pizzería Los Jefes, que Pizzería Los Jefes, Duke es una persona que 
pagó su cena al monero con, con los chicos. ¿Es el primer para, partido? El primer partido. Una cena winner, gratis para el winner of, The winner of the first match. ¿Quién se gana? ¿El mejor jugador del partido? El mejor jugador del partido, que va a ser the seleccionado best... por el relator y el comentarista. Ok. The... <risa> no the, best, the best player of the match. Uh, okay. Of the first the match. The, the, yes, the MVP. Of the, of the first official match is going to win a dinner, a free dinner at the pizzeria that you went. What's the name of, uh, el nombre <risa> de la pizzeria? Los jefes. Los jefes. Los jefes. La pizzeria de los jefes. <risa> Eh, so... Y el segundo partido, eh, que es Guaraní Luis Cristaldo, el mejor jugador del partido, se va a llevar una prenda de Thor Indumentaria eh, pagada the first, al monero. The, first, the, second, the second match, the, the MVP of the second match gets a free clothing from uh, the... Thor Indumentaria. Thor From Tori oh. Indumentaria, it's a clothing store that sells also the Libertad t-shirts and all that. Fantastic. Eh, bien. Of course, they accept Monero. Es, I, I, I didn't I, even know he did those things behind the scenes too to get them involved. That's amazing, man. The amount of, the amount of work he put into this is incredible. Al estar, estamos trabajando muy duro con los chicos de, de, que van a estar en la técnica de la transmisión para darle la mejor transmisión posible dentro de las capacidades que, está, que tenemos aquí en Ibarreta por internet más por la presión de que vamos a estar en la Monero Con, en un fanfest allí, van a mirar la, el partido inaugural y... They are working very hard with the technicians, I mean with the people doing the technical work of the transmission to ensure that they have the best quality possible um, being basically their only limitations is the quality of the internet service in Ibarreta but mm -hmm. that that aside they, they are working very hard so because they, they know they have the pressure not only to be able to to be watched properly anywhere but also because they having they are um going to appear on the kind of a fan fest at Monero Corp Pero live vamos a darle la mejor experiencia que se queden tranquilos que tendrán la mejor experiencia en lo que respecta a la transmisión Okay. What's that? What's that? Yeah. No, no, that, that he wants to ensure people that, that they are going to have the best experience with the transmission. Yeah. With the broadcast. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. It will, well, I'm not sure. I, I, I hope. I hope <laughs> never, it will be never good. say sure. Never <laughs> say I'm sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I hope we figure that out. Yes. Alessandro, tell him uh, to let me know anything we need, that I could do to help uh, ensure mm -hmm. that we that we get working internet to, to definitely make that a priority. No, dice que, que cualquier cosa que vos veas que él pueda ayudar desde allá para conseguir que la internet funcione de la manera correcta que le avises. Sí, sí, sí. Ya estamos, mm. ya está casi solucionado en un en un cien por ciento. Eh, solamente conseguiste, ahí un, estamos... conseguiste un Starlink. Un Starlink, un Starlink. Mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. Bueno. No, I, I told him, I told him that he, should, that he should get a Starlink because. Bien, tenemos. Now we have eh, Starlink. Now we have yeah. officially Starlink in Argentina. So. Oh shit. Dentro, Maybe. Dentro how much are how, equipos... how much are Starlinks? Uh, I know. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I think it's like. The installation, at least I've seen the the mobile Starlink, you know, the one that you can mm -hmm. use on on a on an RV or something like that. Uh, those, I think, the installation thing is like three hundred dollars, something like that. Mm. And then the payment per month is less than a hundred. I think it's like sixty or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pricey for Argentinian standards for connections, but something something of that order um for what i've seen i haven't tested it i'm leaving the city but mm -hmm. for what i've seen from people that testing it like it works super super great i mean that's awesome it's like, it's like a hundred megabytes or something up and down or something like that it's... wow <laughs> totally like I'm a, for, i might i this. might need that for the monerotopia conference too <laughs> yeah probably yes yeah will yeah it would be a, a good bet I don't know how much they are in, like influenced by the weather, for example. So if you have like a very yeah. rainy day or something, 
mm. like with how what happened with satellite connections, but maybe it's not an issue because of the mm. the, the the wave that they're using, like the signal that they're using. I have no idea. But compared we, to most of many of the of the internet connections that we have in the in the inside part of of Argentina, yes, it's it's a it's really a change. It's gonna be a really a, a, a change for many towns in the future, especially if they can pull together to basically pay the per, the price between many people. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what they were hinting at the whole um, Cuba thing. Mm -hmm. If they actually yeah. do that, it's. Well, Alessandro, we should try to make uh, get a Starlink part of the Starlink, a Starlink yeah, at yes. the stadium. Starlink at the stadium. Elon. Elon. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> how, 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 is, how is the internet in general in his town? Like, I, I forget really. I mean, ¿Cómo es el internet en general en el pueblo? I was eh, able to make transactions. El 90% es eh, eh, por fibra óptica. Uh -huh. eh, 90% si es fiber optics. Eh. Pero qué velocidad tiene más o menos generalmente. But if you're just like walking around with your cell phone, sí, like de... how... 30, 30, 40 megas. 30, 40 megabytes per second, usually. Pero, eh, pero ya el de técnica está trayendo una solución el de técnica, el técnico de Formosa que va a estar encargado de la transmisión acá en presencialmente. Uh -huh. Ya trae la solución ya, así que okay. me, dejó, me dejó más tranquilo. The technician that is going to take care of the whole broadcast uh, tomorrow is, is bringing a like a solution for the whole the whole thing, so he's not worried Fantastic. about it. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Let Bien. me let me just explain explain a little more, and then we'll keep because we have so much to talk about here. I just want to also say so each of these teams, there's 12 teams. Each we're trying to get a sponsor for each team, so. Right now we have our first two sponsors are Cake Wallet and Xano. Um, I think we'll be adding Firo and Particle. Uh, so we essentially have the first four teams sponsored, which is good because the first two games are coming up a week from today or essentially uh, one day less than a week from today. Um, but yeah, reach out if you want to be a team sponsor at Monerotopia at protonmail.com so basically anybody who's a decent sized sponsor on monerotopia we're giving a sponsorship we're giving them a team so that's why cake wallet xano particle Firo. so we're making that part of their monerotopia sponsorship um so if anybody wants to sponsor monerotopia we'll give you a team as well or if you just want to spot get a team uh you could do that as well and you could do that through Essentially, the Kuno. That, that's let's let's get to that. Let's get that up here. Hold on. We are announcing the Kuno as well. Let me bring that up. Shit. Oh, okay. Mientras tanto, con con qué se van a encontrar? Se van a encontrar con muchos detalles dentro de la transmisión y dentro del resumen del partido con cosas muy peculiares por ejemplo que, que tienen que ver con Copa Monero, que tienen que ver con Sano, que tienen que ver con Sano Project que tienen que ver con Cake Wallet y demás So yeah, let me, let me this is important, so the Kuno, right so this Copa Monero, we're, we're essentially funding it through the Monerotopia conference. That's currently what the currently was how we we're funding it. So, like I said, anybody who is a decent sized sponsor of Monerotopia, we made them a team sponsor. But it's it's a it's a large expense in addition to the conference, right? So it's like we've ad, we've added on this soccer tournament, which essentially is going to cost ten thousand um, dollars. These are these are real costs. Like the things we're talking about, the the streaming. You know, we've hired a professional company to broadcast it to be commentary during it. Um, police, uh, like security needs to be hired for each game. Referees need to be paid for, for each game. Um, it's, there's a lot of costs that go, it, it's being done professionally. Uh, and it's amounting to $10,000, which is very, very inexpensive for what we're getting. If you were to try to do this elsewhere for what we're achieving here, um, I'd say it's actually extremely, 
reasonably uh, reasonably priced, but it adds up. So it's going to cost us essentially ten thousand dollars to do that. We'll, like I said, we'll be supplementing it with money that we raise for the conference through our sponsors, but that's taking money away from the conference. So that's why we're putting this Kuno out there in addition, uh, hoping that the community can chip in. We did the hard work. We're going to make it happen. There's no risk involved as to whether or not this thing's actually really going to happen. It's happening. We, you know, Expenses pretty much have already been laid out. Um, but if you want to help reimburse so that the money can be kept in the conference, uh, any donations would be greatly appreciated. And essentially, every any every uh, XMR you donate for what every one XMR you donate, uh, we're saying a third of that will automatically just go directly towards increasing the Monero Copa Monero prize. So right now it's at ten XMR. So any any Monero, if you donated 10, 10 Monero, or if you donated nine nine Monero. Uh, we would put a third three Monero uh, at three Monero to the Copa Monero prize. So, any money donated, a third goes to the prize, and the other two thirds go towards essentially the budget for the conference, the budget for the conference, and fixing the Libertad Stadium. Like we said, that's another goal of Copa Monero, right? So we'll put money towards fixing up the stadium, and then the actual budget of the uh, tournament itself. And we're saying at the bottom, anybody who donates one Monero or more will will put their logo or whatever they want to be mentioned on the mural. Um, I could ask Alessandro about that if uh, we're, uh, we're going to have a mural painted at, at the stadium. Uh, they did this when they fixed up the stadium the first time. It came out really nice. So you'll you'll be honored in that way, and anybody who donates seven Monero or more will be given a Copa Monero team. So if you want to just sponsor a team, you don't want to do the Monero Topia Conference thing, but you want your your brand name or whatever associated with one of the teams, you could just donate seven Monero or more to that Kuno, and we'll give you a team, which is really cool. So at the end of the day, it's going to be like Zano playing, Pirate Chain playing, you know, Cake Wallet playing um whoever particle a basic swap so it it, sh it should be pretty cool darrow let's get darrow in there come on darrow take a team let's i, I want to see Nero darrow i want to see, uh, I wanna see there, darrow yes. play right <laughs> while narrow while narrow actually no while narrow i think i think we'll 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 be able to put up there because they're gonna sponsor um monero topia but yeah you get the idea you get the idea so I'll let once again Alessandro take it from here. Anything, anything that he wants to say if about there is a the If there is a Wounero team, I would be very torn between Libertad and Wounero team. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro, dice well, si quieres decir algo más de, de la Copa Monero. Sí, 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 por supuesto. Eh, antes de que me olvide, es también un evento muy importante ya que la gente, la, los usuarios de Monero, de la comunidad, siempre está el, el problema de querer tener un, una posibilidad de, de apostar en los juegos y van a tener la posibilidad y de hacerlo exclusivamente en Monero y de manera peer-to-peer -peer en sigmanero.org. Eh, sigmanero.org es un, un sistema en el cual el mercado de Copa Monero ya está agregado. Eh, los dos primeros partidos abren en cinco días y cada persona puede lanzar su oferta por el local o el visitante y la contraparte, eh, si desea, puede aceptarlo. Another thing that they are adding for the conference, for the conference. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so too many things going conference. on yeah it's a, it's a very weird week ah uh, come on ah uh, for the cup right um the conference is next week this is the cup um it's everything happening at the same time you know i only have I know, one man. brain so <laughs> yes one thing that i added is like, the possibility for people to bet and many locals are super enthusiastic because they can for the first time bet for the matches in Monero alone on a special Le platform. Let me is... bring that up. I'm going to bring yes. that up right now. Yeah. 
this is this is hilarious. So we we spoke about this, you know, as theoretically being something that we might do that might happen alongside Copa Monero. <laughs> Yeah, and because remember sure. the whole adoption in, in Ibarreta started that way because people were left out of the possibility of betting on sports with the local mm -hmm. currency in uh, lo basically in local systems, on local websites. So they started using Monero to bypass those regulations and be able to vote anyway, to bet anyway okay. on matches. Here. So here so it now is. We so... are, it's coming for a circle and it's we yeah. just... Getting rid of the middleman, basically. Right. So we were we were hoping that somebody would add it to their gambling website, and sure enough, has Sig has Sigma Monero. Oh, this is like a new a new site, right? Because I've never even heard of it before. Um, but they've decided to add Copa Monero, which is really cool. But they're not just like any type of gambling uh, website. They're actually peer to peer, which is really which is really amazing. They just launched, right? Es el nuevo, ¿vale? Eh, el, ¿cuál? El sitio de Sigma Nero. Es nuevo, eh, si mal no me equivoco, tiene seis, cuatro o seis meses de antigüedad. It's brand new, pero it's es... like four or six months old, Sigma Nero. So it's, it's basically it's basically like XMR Bazaar, uses kind of the same, you know, same concept. It's XMR Betting Bazaar, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but they uh, so they use multi sig to do Ahí, trustless peer to peer betting. Una agregar un dato muy interesante, mm -hmm. importante que eh, one more thing. Está hay un hay dos hay un video entero en dos partes que lo hemos subido en la en el en la cuenta de Copa Monero en X donde explica mm -hmm. cómo cómo se debe utilizar sig Monero. Y el dato peculiar es que no se puede salir dentro de la, de la, de la apuesta de la pantalla una vez que eh, empiece el partido hasta que termine. Ok. Es, They uploaded es que two, videos, two videos to the, the Libertad Club. No, eh, Copa Monero. No. Ah, to the Copa Monero, sorry. Eh, to the Copa Monero X Twitter account. Uh, in, two, in two parts and mm -hmm. those videos explain very well how to use uh, the platform, the website Simonero to, to make the bets because okay. one, of the, one of the things that is very important is that you should not, once you place the bet, you should not leave or close the website while the match is happening O sea que los right. que apuestan okay. están obligados a, a, a ver el partido So in a way, what the people betting are forced to watch the match, so to speak. Bien, mm. eh, hay, that's, that's, hay that's really funny. Otro casino que eh, seguramente agregará que, que querían la oportunidad de agregar Copa Monero a su mercado porque eh, los llamó la atención, pero eh, es para otro tipo de comunidad criptográfica que usan otra moneda que... No sé si es mejor decirlo aquí en el programa, pero ellos también me han a comentado. A esta altura ya lo vas a tener que decir, así que. Eh, y sí, puedo, puedo decirlo porque no es algo que me excede. Cualquier, cualquier casino puede agregar Copa Monero claro. como puede agregar cualquier uh -huh. liga. He's eh, talking about es... that there, there was another casino. Just, vamos a ver que, lo, que, lo que quieras hacer. Eh, there is another casino, online casino, that was interested in maybe putting Copa Monero in there, but he doesn't want, he doesn't know if, if you want to say it or not, because it's not Monero base. Basically he uses another, some other cryptos, but oh, it's, okay. it's totally, it's totally out of his hands. He just, uh, knows that they are considering maybe because they heard about the whole thing and it's a local casino casino. <laughs> That's so hilarious. They want to. Maybe well, maybe maybe by the end, on the, may, yes. maybe by the end of this day, except Monero, you know, like maybe that will come out of it. I don't know. Sí, that's se llama, se llama Lil that's Beat hilarious. Y para los, Lil Beat y para los no Monero lovers tienen esa posibilidad ahí de que de depositar mm -hmm. en this otra is, moneda this, y apostar en This is so moneda. this is so fucking awesome though. I mean, this is literally what we talked about when we when we were laughing and we had the idea for Copa Monero. We quickly it quickly led to wouldn't it be hilarious if people started gambling on it? Um, 
and it's happening, and then in the most ideal way possible with this Sigma. Monero. It wasn't that hard to predict anyway. So, yeah. like, but somebody actually made a peer-to-peer -peer gambling don't. website just in the nick of time. Um, pretty amazing. And so they have NHL, they have League One, Serie A, and then they have Copa Monero. So if you click on Copa Monero, it's just like the NHL, but yeah, it's okay. so they have all all the games. <laughs> All the upcoming games that you can gamble on, peer to peer, on Copa Monero. Super cool. Well, we're gonna have. Okay, entonces, sorry, um, Ale. Entonces, vos tenés que apostar en vivo o, o que se abre más tarde. El o sea, ¿por qué día no puedo del apostar partido, ahora? 24 eh. horas antes se abre el mercado con las cuotas. Okay. The market, the market for the bets opens 24 hours before the match. Luego, okay. allí. Eh, vos ingresás y vas a elegir por qué equipo querés ir y eh, ofreces tu, eh, tirás tu oferta sobre la cantidad que vos querés apostar. Okay. Si la contraparte then, then quiere ir pick. con el rival. Ok, then you pick which team you want, the local or the other one, uh, and you enter an offer of how much you want to bet. And you have to wait for basically la contraparte. Tienes que esperar que aparezca otro, digamos, la, otra, la contraparte para querer apostar. Claro, claro, claro. Okay. Yes, you have to wait for your offer to be taken by any other part, for, for, by other party. Mm -hmm. eh, y después eso va dirigido a una multiciclo depósito de, mm. donde eh, se, obviamente se necesitan do, dos de tres partes para confirmar la transacción en el cual sin manero es una de la una de las partes okay. por eso que Then Yo no lo había entendido bien porque hasta el sistema es nuevo para mí. Eh, both deposits go to a, to a multi-sig account with, where you need two out of three to make the transaction afterwards. So mm -hmm. one of those parties is, of course, eh, Sigmanero itself, basically. Right, right. Bien, yeah. para, para so cerrar lo último, esto, eh, esto, por ejemplo, que estoy mostrando acá, estos son los banderines de Corner que esto se podrá reflejar mucho más en los resúmenes que en los partidos, en las transmisiones. Y este Those are the corner es... flags for the, for the matches. Oh, let me see, let me see. Show, show them este better. Mostra de vuelta, mostra de vuelta de el, el banderín. Vale, mostra el banderín. Oh, wait, wait, show that, show that. Those are the corner that... flags. Oh, corner. wow, that's Which amazing. Has, yeah. They are not going to be like super visible during the match because they're going to fall, but during the transmissions yeah. afterwards, they're going to show the the flags as well and then the the, the ball nice that's fantastic hay, hay más, sí. the official y también se van a encontrar con una presentación con con bengalas de humo cuando salgan los equipos y, y demás okay wow a, a, a kind of a show before when the match when the when the teams are presented they're gonna have like a fire a fire lights and we 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 have to produce the copa too. Um, does he <laughs> does he know? Do we have somebody? Do we have an che. idea for how we're gonna make the copa? Che, Ale, pregunta si tienes una si ya tenés como armado. Tienen que producir la copa misma física. Si ya eh, I think we should we should maybe just 3D print it. Get it 3D printed somewhere. ¿Cómo la van a hacer? Tenés ya el encargado como quien hace la copa. O la van a hacer una impresión 3D. ¿Qué onda? Eh, estamos analizando las posibilidades Tod todavía tenemos tiempo para eso queremos que sea la réplica en un, en un peso de 4 kilos 5 kilos que sea la copa y uh -huh. trataremos de buscar la persona más idónea para, para, para eso que lo estamos haciendo en Formosa Capital o en Buenos Aires pero, ¿Pero ¿la van a hacer en Barreta, metal? No metal, sí they want to make the, the cup out of metal and they want to ensure that it, it weighs at least four or five kilos. So it's like nice. an actual cup. And they are, they are in, uh, si alguno, they are in, si in communication venir, with su... people with, from Formosa and also from Buenos Aires who can make the cup. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Oh my God. ¿Y también qué? ¿Qué son stickers? Si alguno quiere venir a ver algún partido, ya sabe que cuenta con la invitación especial <laughs> acá. If someone wants to actually assist one of the, to come to one of the matches, they have like an official invitation ready for them. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I people should go. I don't know. I mean, so ¿Qué the, 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 fi vale. the finals will happen yeah, during Minerotopia. We're gonna we're gonna put it on Minerotopia, so everybody at Minerotopia, we could all huddle together uh, on the main stage and, and watch Copa Monero. It'll be hilarious. We could all cheer. We'll all be so invested at that point because we've either made a lot of money on our team along the way or lost the lost money for other teams. Uh, we'll we'll know the team we'll know the teams well by then, and we'll all be watching the the finals at Monero Topia. But I don't know, maybe there's some people that want to venture over to Formosa and actually go check the games out in person. By all means, go for it. Right, Alessandro, you'll 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 well, you'll be ready for them. We have the ho hotel for them to stay at in Iberete. Sí, dice, pregunta si, si va a estar la ciudad y el estadio listo para si alguien se copa y se, se les ocurre de verdad ir personalmente. Está todo preparado. Está todo preparado. Everything, everything set and ready. Es venir y no perderse nada más. <laughs> you just need to come and not get lost in the way. Of actually getting to Ibarreta. But yes, everything is ready if anyone um, wants to visit during the Copa Alas Alessandro, we got to figure out with you though, because we, we need we need you at Monerotopia, man. So I don't know. We got we got to figure out how we're gonna do that with the finals. Because tienen que tienen uh... tienen que encontrar la manera de llevarte a Monerotopia para la final, dale. Eso es lo que está hablando. Ah, uh, que yo vaya a Monerotopia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to figure no, that out. No, está muy difícil. Está muy difícil. ¿Y, y quién va a entregar el trofeo si yo no estoy? <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's gonna deliver the actual trophy to the to the win match if he wins if he goes to if he to Monerotopia? Shit, we may uh, have to move the finals. I don't know. We yes. can we can figure out what it will make sense. I, we, I have we have time. We have time. We have time. We have time to figure out the final match. We didn't set a date for it, right? Hay que prepararse para una entrega del premio en Monero en ese en ese momento. Hay que visualizar cómo va a ser la entrega. Because we were ready because it's a whole deal to. Primero el pago en Monero. Actually deliver, la Copa. Made the payment in Monero to the winner. Shit, deliver yeah. the cup, the physical cup to the winner. So <laughs> he wants to he wants to be there. So we will have to figure something we, out. We, we if, have to, if, we if have you to want, fly want him. Yes. We have to fly the winning team into Monero Topia and, and have the ceremonies happen at Monero Topia. <laughs> I don't uh, think many would complain to bus. that. But yes. How about a bus? Yeah. Can, can, we have, can we have a bus? Can, can we have a bus from Iberete to Mexico City? If you get City? a bus from Iberete, it's going to yeah, they are right the next Monotopia. <laughs> yes. No sería, no, no estaría nada mal hacer el pago desde Monerotopia hacia el ah, capitán esa buena. campeón. Esa es buenísima hacerlo en vivo. A good idea would be to actually make the payment from Monerotopia. Oh wow, that's cool. Team. Yeah. Okay. Since physical barriers are nothing for us. Yeah. yeah But Alessandro, we, we, we need you at Monerotopia, though, man. Maybe we could get somebody else to, to take over on that end. We'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Uh, all right. What, what else did we want to bring up, guys? Um, oh, Alessandro, did you want to show some video or so? You want to show an example of of something, the what the streaming will look like? Or, right? Ale, vos, querías vos querías mostrar un ejemplo o querías mostrar un video de cómo se ve el streaming o algo así? Eh, no, no lo, no, lo, no lo tengo acá, pero en la semana no, 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 no. lo estaré mostrando. Se estará mostrando el. Ah, ok. El, uh, no, he doesn't have one now, but during the week, this week, he's going to be able to show a presentation of how the stream is going to look. Oh, fantastic. We'll be sharing a video afterwards. And how about the, the mural? Are we, are we doing a. I want to make sure I under I even understand correctly. Are we was the idea to do a a new mural that will be in the stadium with all the the sponsors? Con, contale un poco del mural que van a hacer. ¿Cómo es la idea de van a hacer un mural nuevo en el estadio con los sponsors de la Copa? Eh, la idea es que mediante avance la la recaudación y también la llegada de, de sponsors podamos hacer de la, en un mural la parte de atrás del, del uno de los arcos, dejar toda una sección para todos los proyectos y herramientas, eh, dibujar, dibujar lo, los logos, que también queden impregnadas esa, esas marcas ahí dentro de lo ah, que okay. es el estadio de Monero. 
They are still waiting for the the rest of the sponsors to come come up. Uh, but once they do and they start the the cup itself, they're gonna paint behind one of the one of the goalposts. Um, they're gonna paint all the logos and or whatever they want the names of the sponsors. So they're gonna basically nice. be left there. Like the behind, stadium. behind the behind the goal on the wall. Yeah, behind right? the goals. One awesome. Goals. Yeah. Y también que estaba dentro de alguno ya de, que está en la descripción que es arreglar los bancos de suplentes y algunas que otras cosas fix dentro, the benches. dentro del estadio. Okay. Fix the benches. It'll be for... it'll be like a Cop Copa Monero 2024 mural. That's awesome. That's what I, I get. Yeah. Wow. That's gonna be great. All right. Uh, also, anything else we should bring up, man? So, pe people, please, please consider donating to the Kuno. Um, we put a ton of effort into this, and we're gonna make it a success. I mean, I like we said, I, you know, I think it, I think thousands of people will will learn about Monero because of this from what we're doing, and maybe I don't know, maybe we get some media attention. Does he think we could get like local media attention at all for Copa Monero? Le pregunta si, pregunta si vos crees que puede llegar a tener algún tipo de aparición en, la, en, la, en los medios locales, tele, radio, donde sea, la, la copa. Sí, Como para eh, expandir más la voz sobre Monero y o sea, que más gente se entere de Monero. Sí, eh, eh, estoy hablando de, dentro de lo que es el ámbito local, sí. Eh, me, me han invitado en Formosa Capital a ir a, a hablar sobre esto, sobre el fenómeno que está ocurriendo. Uh -huh. eh, la radio local, también aquí locally for sure sí. and the radios local radios yes totally they're already doing it but he's been invited to the Formosa's capital to the province capital to talk about the cup and all the things that they're doing for adoption in, in Ibarreta estoy, oh, yeah. estoy yendo a la, la radio estoy, estoy yendo a la radio también de aquí eh, me están invitando a que explique las radios locales he's going to radio stations igual. he's been no, going to radio stations Yes, he's been invited to radio, local radio stations to talk about the Copa. Yes, you got tell him he's got you got to record these things and uh, tweet them. Put these put these on Twitter. This is the thing you put on Twitter. Yeah. No, no. Ahora, esta semana voy a ir y, y voy a ir de vuelta y voy a hacer una un recorte ahí y ahí con Luciano. Uh -huh. Y otra cosa que los chicos están más que nada los jóvenes que van a participar porque hay gente más grande, jugadores de, de edad más avanzada que los jóvenes están mucho más entusiasmados porque no ven la hora de clipearse, subir a YouTube, vender su contenido de cómo juegan a otros clubes. Están, hay una euforia por parte de los más jóvenes que, que me da más presión like, incluso. First, he's gonna have a, he has an appearance this week on, on some radio, so he's, he's gonna totally film it and, and share it. But also, he, he's telling that, that many of the younger players, because the older players maybe not so much but the younger players are super eager for the cup to start so they can clip and and take pieces of the video where they appear and share it on their own social networks uh account, social media accounts uh so they, the the younger ones are like super excited for the whole thing that's fantastic Alessandro, i'm thinking too maybe we should add to the kuno like another donation like prize right so at being added to the mural being a sponsor but just like a small one for um people that want to participate right like a, a mug or i don't know jersey or i mean jersey might be a t-shirt i don't know what, what do you guys think would be something good soccer soccer the copa monero soccer ball to to, to give who, who wins like, that no, if people donate a certain amount to yeah. Kuno, right? We have like Tenemos one XMR, que... you're on the mural. Ah, you mean braces so... for, the, for the donors? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. Like Lo what would be a is... good um, mid mid range prize, right? We have two high prizes. We have the one XMR and the seven XMR. Ah. What would be okay. like a good, I don't know, 0.5 eh, XMR? Lo que está diciendo es que, viste, para, la, para, los, para los precios que, de las donaciones que están aceptando en Kuno, uh -huh. ya juntando que tienen precio, precio un premio para los que juntan los que donan dos, dos moneros o siete moneros que son grandes que son sponsors qué sé yo pero te pregunto si se te ocurre algún otro premio pequeño que se le pueda dar o hacer a las personas que donen por ejemplo un monero 
eh, no sé, de, de una taza a un banderino o a una cosa que se le pueda hacer que no sea muy costosa, pero que a la gente que done se, se lleve algún recuerdo. It's got to be something. It's got to be something cheap, right? Because then with shipping or whatever, mm. so I don't know. There's not too many things of. Sí, eso, eso, eso lo iremos. Shipping from Argentina is a pain in the ass. Lo iremos okay. realizando. No, I, I, I don't know. No, lo iremos yeah. realizando. Eh, premios, obsequios, sí, se, se darán. Obviamente no se mandarán desde acá, desde Argentina hasta Estados Unidos, porque por los costos, sino que desde Estados Unidos se mandará, se harán y se mandarán allí unos presentes por esas uh -huh. donaciones, y como le digo, se los agregará en, la, en el mural también, que están todos, eh, Andrés, por ejemplo, y, that, y demás personas. Están going to be added to the mural comunidad. as well, people that donate are going to have their names added to the mural as well, probably smaller, but there's going to okay. be here. But okay. also, he's looking into, into things that can be basically manufactured in the US and delivered from there. Uh, to people that donate as well. Yeah. Y para cerrar, para okay, cerrar okay. Que, que solamente que esto sea un inicio, un puntapié para entender que Monero, que, que tan mal algunos lo quieren despreciar y, y lo quieren tirar abajo, es más desde, otro, desde, desde otras comunidades también, uh -huh. que esta es la mejor manera de expresar de lo que es la comunidad, de qué se está haciendo de verdad la comunidad y, y con esta criptomoneda en sí, que no solamente es querer proteger a los ciudadanos, darle privacidad, darle anonimato, sino que como, como, todo, como todo proyecto, como toda herramienta, sirve también para la sociedad. Hay una razón social que, que atiende y que es todo lo contrario a lo que se quieren plantar, que solo lo usan los criminales, ¿no? Uh -huh. Lo usan la persona de bien, la persona sana, los deportistas, el que quiere comerciar de manera, de manera privada, el que quiere comprar un pan, el que quiere comprar una gaseosa. Y uh -huh. eso es lo que queremos dejar marcado. Y que también sea un inicio de puntapié. ¿Quién dice Copa Monero 2025 se realice con una persona que quiera ser el, el iniciador en Estados Unidos a Copa Monero 2025 en Estados Unidos? o en México también, eh, y puede ser una, un inicio de largos años donde se pueda realizar este evento y que sea icónico en lo que es deporte y monero como criptomoneda en sí, porque estamos acostumbrados solamente a, a conocer exchanges centralizados que apoyan al deporte y esto es muy novedoso, esto es algo único y que también por monero que apoyó a Libertad en el deporte. Hoy en día tenemos a marcas como, como Aqua Wallet, que son billeteras de Bitcoin, que están apoyando a clubes de fútbol. Eh, y así, y esto va creciendo y uno no, no, no da dimensión de cómo, cómo esto va progresando. Bueno, the, the... he said a lot of things. Yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but the most important thing, is that I have a couple. Um... The, the message that he wants to be able to, to say with this whole Copa Monero thing and uh, he wishes the, to, to be successful at is the, to counteract some of the image that sometimes the uh, people or media want to, want to spread about Monero uh, being used by exactly. criminals or a tool for only for crime or something like that. Uh, um, but to be able to show that It's not all, all not only a cryptocurrency that that can be and is used by people to just buy bread or local commerce or peer-to-peer -peer transactions, and it's a tool of freedom. Um, but also that the that uh, the whole that actually organizing the cup itself or these these ventures um, not only spread the word about the currency itself, but also inspire people to. To, to to start using it uh, mm -hmm. and as well is a way of counteracting that image and showing that they can be used for good and 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 yeah and basically he said that, that that adoption is 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 real and, and it's a tool for freedom that, yeah um, I can, that that is the, that the said, number one most important thing about Copa Monero 100 yeah, yeah yeah and that it yeah. changed it it really it That it is true that actually changed uh, the, the 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 things there. That now, for example, 
some other cryptos or like wallets, crypto wallets are sponsoring other teams, which is mm -hmm. something that didn't happen before. Um, much, many of the things that he says that he hopes that this Monero, this Copa Monero is the first one of many um, that maybe it's in, it inspires uh, someone else to actually make, I don't know, Copa Monero 2025 in the US or in Mexico or wherever else and spread not only the Monero world, but also the, the world that, that, that it can be used for, for a good. It's a positive change, positive change for, for, for humanity in that regard. 100%. Um, so that's basically it. And 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 we're actually using Monero, right? If it was like another crypt like we're we're ex we're 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 bringing You're Monero, using Monero in. for everything. Yes. Yeah, through through <laughs> the donations where people are yeah. feelessly sending them anonymously, then we're using that Monero to to fund the conference. People that are participating in it are not all of them, but we get as many as we can to accept Monero on their end. And Alessandro is particularly good at getting people to do that and explain to them what they can then go do with their Monero. Mm -hmm. So it's not just uh, some soccer tournament where we give away a Monero prize. Monero is fully integrated into it and makes the whole thing possible and benefits from the utility of Monero being able to, without essentially without fees, send transactions around the world. So it's, yeah. it's beautiful, beautiful to see. All right, Gracias, Matt. I mean... Yeah, fantastic. Gracias por la oportunidad, that, that... Andrés. Gracias de vuelta. No, thank you for the opportunity, for the space to talk about this. Yeah, thank you so much, Andres. Thank you so much for for jumping on and helping helping us uh, communicate. Greatly appreciate that. My Spanish skills are definitely not there. Uh, You're getting there man. slowly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not at all you just need to come was... more often you just need to come more often and have more and... And... yeah i got i gotta go i gotta go move to argentina yeah. then then i'll then i'll figure it out we are gonna make another aspectos. announcement just that we are at it okay y con esto yo me retiro porque tengo una unos asuntos pendientes cada persona que desde el día 8 el día 8 de junio suba uh -huh. una una, una imagen mirando la transmisión eh, en Monero Talk con el hashtag Copa Monero 2024 va a participar por pequeños premios en Monero. ¿sí? Van, a, van a recibir un pequeño regalito por cada persona, unos pequeños piconeros para aquellas personas que suban una imagen mirando el partido en vivo de Copa Monero con el hashtag, eh, hashtag Copa Monero 2024. ¿Y a dónde tiene que subir? ¿A Twitter? A Twitter, bueno, a Twitter. Bueno. Ya bueno. lo veo al Tommy ya ahí subiendo. Sí, <risa> <risa> oficial. Dijiste que hay plata de por medio, ¿sabes cómo? Tommy se pone, te crea 50 Pequeño, cuentas fantasma. Pequeños piconeros ahí. Ok. He says that he wants to announce that there is a small surprise. A little, little, little price for anyone that is durante los partidos o en cualquier momento? Sí, en el día del partido. En cualquier momento que post. subas fotos viendo el partido. Claro. Okay. Anyone who shares photos of themselves watching the matches, the Copa Monero matches on Twitter or X, forget I'm old, <laughs> forgive me, I'm old. <laughs> on X, um, with the hashtag Copa Monero. 2024. I love they this, yeah. maybe they're gonna re, uh, receive a little piconero, some piconeros gifts from. Oh, I love this. Yes. That's a great idea. It's a great idea. We'll, we'll see eso, some hila hilarious photos of people watching Copa Monero. Okay. Para, that, para eso tienen que tener activada la modalidad Virpay, Virpay de Cake en los per, en sus perfiles. For that, they have to in, have enabled cake, uh, beard pay from Cake on their Twitter profiles. Fantastic. They have, to have beard pay set up on their Twitter profiles for it to work. Fantastic idea. Fantastic idea. will help grow Cake bird pay. I love it, man. Great thought. Great thought. I'm yeah. seeing uh, we, we, got a, we got a donation. We're at 1.03 Monero. All right. Let's go. That's fantastic to see. Um, all right, guys. 
does Alessandro have have any other announcements? Anything else he wants to say? No, and he actually see say that he has to go. Oh, he's got to go. Okay, <laughs> and uh, so ne next week though, next week we're going to be doing the show from MoneroCon, but it's going to be we're going to be doing it earlier than Copa Monero. We'll be doing it live at MoneroCon, and then Copa Monero will kick off later that evening. But maybe we'll have Sigma Monero come on that show. Right, Alessandro? Está preguntando que van a hacer el show de van a hacer el show de Monero de Monerotopia el domingo que viene en, desde Monerocon un toque antes del partido, ¿no? Antes de la, del partido de la noche del inaugural y sí, probablemente antes. Sí, y está hablando si probablemente si puedan tener al de Sigma el de Sigma Monero en vivo hablando en el show. Sí, él, él iba a estar, yo le, le, le pedí si podía estar aquí, me dijo que no, no podía hoy, pero sí que el fin de semana siguiente ya, ya iba a estar a, iba a estar disponible. He couldn't be here eso. today, but, but he's going to definitely go, be, be available for next week. Yeah, next week is even better because we'll have him on the day of Copa Monero so we could bring up yeah. and see if people are starting to list, uh, list bets. See if there's any mm -hmm. <laughs> people listing bets. Um, fantastic, guys. Thank you so much, both of you. Greatly appreciate You're it. Welcome. Thanks, All guys. Right.